First of all, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land that I live, of the dark and young people, and I recognise their connection to land, water and community. I pay my respects to the elders past, present and emerging. I would also like to acknowledge and pay respects to the various cultures whose shared knowledge has allowed me to develop these products that I'm about to share with you. So I'd like to present to you Druid Alchemy. Um, at Druid Alchemy we care very much about the environment uh, and we understand that um, producing our products and sending them to you has an impact on the environment. Um, so to offset this impact, we um, have started a tree planting program and a percentage of every sale we make will be put into that program uh, on behalf of the customer. I've been making incense for a few years now, but over the last year I've been researching and experimenting with herbs, resins, wood powders and essential oils. Uh, with the aim of developing a range of incenses and essential oil blends that will bring the essences of the trees and plants into your ceremonial space. Before I begin handling any of my ceremonial tools, I like to cleanse my hands with a Zuko pouch. Zuko is a Japanese term where they use a bowl of herbs to cleanse the spirit. I've taken this a step further by putting the herbs into a pouch it makes it much more convenient and then you can just dust your hands and cleanse them before doing any work. Um, this pouch is filled with the herbs from my consecration and purification blend. Now I'd like to show you my incense range. All of my incense comes packaged in beeswax soaked cotton wraps that um, are reusable so you can use them again or you can return them to me and um, I'll give you a discount off your next order. Our incense comes in a number of different forms. We have sticks of three different sizes, small, medium and large. I have cones of two sizes, the small and the medium. And I have coils of two sizes. We have the small coils. And the large coils. Um, we also have the Zuko pouches and a Bakua paste, which I'll show you a bit later. Our incense is made using nine herbs or resins, three or four wood powders, and it is infused with a blend of nine essential oils, creating a beautiful incense designed for ceremonial work. This is one of my Banksia nut incense burners that's designed to take the three different sides of sticks, as well as support the cones and coils. This is one of the small incense sticks that's perfect for indoors. The um, larger sticks are designed for outdoor ceremonial work. For the incense cones, just sit them there, like the top. And away it goes. Incense coils uh, are ideal for putting in sensors and other types of coil holders. They burn for a long time, they go for about four hours. The incense coils uh, are the only one that I don't make the small coil myself. Um, I buy the best grade agar wood and sandalwood coils and I infuse them with our essential oil blend. 
making them unique. These can go inside an incense sensor like this. Scent sensor can be carried or passed around the circle. It smells divine. And once finished, you just hang it up on the little stand. And they burn for up to four hours. Uh, the incense coils also fit on our Banksia nut burners. Just open another one here. stand the coils just fit on top put the large coil for outdoor use or a small coil for indoor use Now I'd like to show you the bakur paste. Bakur is an Arabic type of incense that is passed around in ceremony. Um, and through doing a bit of research on that, I discovered an electric incense burner for bakur. Once I realized how these work, I saw a, a, an opportunity to be able to burn incense during the fire ban because there's no naked flame or spark. Simply put a bit of the paste which is made from the uh, all natural herbs, resins and soaked with the essential oil blend. Small piece goes in the end. We just turn it on. And we have a little portable incense burner. The bakur paste is very strong. A small piece goes a long way. It'll burn for one and a half minutes, so it's just enough time to consecrate a small ceremonial circle with no risk of causing fire. It smells absolutely divine. And you just click the button once and it turns off. The, the burner folds up. Very portable, easy to carry. And I thank you for listening to my presentation of my incense. Uh, if you'd like to find out more or to buy some, visit druidalchemy.com.au. Thank you.